going around the leaf. Around the leaf? I, I, I don't think we can. وحشر لسليمان جنوده من الجن والإنس والطير فهم يوزعون حتى إذا أتوا على واد النمل قالت نملة يا أيها النمل ادخلوا مساكنكم لا يحطمنكم سليمان لا يحطمنكم سليمان وجنوده وهم لا يشعرون Small talk, very small talk. Scientists have long studied how various creatures communicate. Dolphins in the water, chimpanzees on land, birds in flight. But insects, could they possibly have anything to say? Well, when it comes to the tiny ant, it turns out the answer may be yes. Here's Nick Watt. Ants live in highly structured societies. They are masters of architecture and even agriculture. And now, scientists tell us, ants actually talk to each other. Were you surprised by what you found? We were. We, yes, we Absolutely. were surprised. Absolutely. With an iPod and an old pair of headphones, they discovered worker ants are indifferent to rock music, but stand guard when a distressed queen makes this particular sound. They stand on the speaker with their uh, jones, the mandibles opened, uh, something like saying, I'm defending some, my queen. Now, no one is saying these little creatures talk like they do in the movies. Now stay calm, we are going around the leaf. Around the leaf? I, I don't think we can do that. But they do have a kind of language. Look at the back end of the ant, that's the abdomen moving up and down, vibrating. That's how ants make noise, that's how they, I suppose, talk to each other. Scientists made these startling discoveries by accident while studying the large blue butterfly. They watched butterfly pupae trick ants into taking them to ant nests and nurturing them until they hatched. Why? Well, amazingly, the butterfly pupae imitate the ant queen's distinctive voice. Butterflies have learned to speak this mysterious ant language, a language humans have only just discovered. Nick Watt, ABC News, Turin.